Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and my bathroom. Um, I am getting ready to go and not go anywhere, but dye my hair. Um, the red's gotta go. Um, the upkeep is just a little bit too much for me right now and getting ready to move so money is a little bit tight so I am doing this myself. Um, so yeah, uh, we're going to take out the braids and we're going to get rid of these blonde roots and red hair because that's just not a good look on anybody, so stay tuned. Alright, so this is all of the stuff that I will be using today. Um, well, tonight I'll just be using the um, Quick Blue Bleach and the 30 Volume Developer as well as the shimmer lights, well I mean this isn't shimmer lights, but it's the generic brand of um, purple shampoo for the blonde process. Um, I've got measuring cup for everything, mixing bowl, brush, gloves, and then all of my list of what I got and measurements. I contacted a few salons here in Vegas and if you've ever been to Vegas, if you know Vegas um, salons here are pretty expensive um, and I don't have the $150 plus for each visit that they quoted me um, for this taking so that is another big reason that I'm doing this by myself um, I did my research uh, found some videos here on YouTube um, by some other YouTubers that I'll link down below. One of them was um, Taylor Ray. She had a similar video going from red to blonde. Um, my hair is not as red as hers. Hers is more on the burgundy side where mine is definitely more on the copper side and you'll see that once I take out the braids. Um, so I'll link her video down below and you guys can check out her video as well. So what we're going to use for the bleaching process is the L'Oreal Quick Blue Bleach and 30 Volume Developer. And this is the Ion Sensitive Scalp. So the ratios are 2 ounces of bleach to 4 ounces of volume. I have a lot of hair actually so I'm going to double it. So I'm going to mix that up and I'll be right back. bleach all mixed up and it is a lot so I know that I'm going to have some left over but I also didn't want to run out in the middle of filming and have it have to sit on my hair for longer um, so I've sectioned off my hair I have my bottom section into two sections and then I have the top section into two sections um, I don't know if you can tell but my hair looks kind of greasy um, I've had coconut oil in it um, all day, since last night, all day today, um, just to kind of act as a barrier for that bleach. So I'm going to start applying it and then breeze through that and um, I'll be back to show you the progress.
So I have all of the bleach on. Um, I just set my timer for 25 minutes. Um, I'm going to put a bag on top of it just to keep the heat in. Um, as you can see on this side, it's already already lifting. Um, and then this side is starting. So, um, yeah, I'll be back in 25 minutes. Alright, so I just took off the bag. And this is like slim shady blonde oh my gosh I think that most of it lifted on this first one I'm gonna see what it looks like um, when I'm done washing it um, just to see if I need to do any more um, any more bleach I don't think I will which is awesome um, so, yeah, we'll see what it looks like in just a second. Alright, so, um, this is what I have so far. I'm actually super, super, super excited because I don't have to do any more bleach. Um, I was hoping that I wouldn't have to, and I don't think that I do. So, I'm going to go ahead and tone, and, yeah, hopefully we can get some of, get rid of this, yellow here kind of reminds me of do you guys remember vitamin c the singer that sings uh what is it called graduation mm -hmm. um that's what this reminds me of right now so all right so um what i'm going to do for toning is um i have the wella t14 and t18 the t14 is pale ash blonde and the T18 is lightest ash blonde. Um, the 14 is going to get rid of a lot of the the yellow, and the 18 is going to get rid of um, some of the orange that I still have. I knew that I was going to be orange because my hair was red, um, and so the people at Sally's said um, use a mixture of the two. Now in um, Taylor Ray's video, she used uh, three quarters of an ounce of the T14 and a quarter ounce of the T18. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, equal parts, um, a half ounce of each to, um, to make the one ounce of toner and then add two ounces of developer to that and then put that on my hair. Um, it'll sit for 15 minutes and we'll rinse it out again. Okay, so I have my toner and developer all mixed up and I am applying this to damp hair. That's what the directions say to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. toner on and I'm going to let that sit for about 20 minutes um, and then rinse it out and really really hoping that this is all I have to do to it so we'll see what happens when I rinse it out. Bye! Alright so this is what I have after the first toning and everything like that. Um, it's definitely a golden blonde which I'm, I'm not mad at at all. Um, my roots are a little bit icy, but I can deal with that for um, deal with that for the time being. That's totally fine. Um, I did get a color um, that I think I'm gonna put over it, um, but not just yet. Um, gonna let the color sit for a couple of days and then um, see what it looks like after it's dried. I mean, this is fresh out of the fresh out of the shower, so we'll see what it looks like in the next couple of days, and I will keep you all posted. Bye. Hey everyone. Um, so this is day two after bleach and toner. Um, I'm really really happy with the results that I have so far. Um, the my 
roots are, like I said, still a little bit icy, but they also are more of a golden platinum, which is what I was going for. Um, I still have some orangey bits, which can only mean that I need to do another bleach, another bleach session. I'm not going to do that just yet. Um, I'm going to let my hair rest for probably a week. I probably won't do that until next week. I'll see um, what it looks like as the week goes on, as I wash it. Um, I don't think that I'm going to try to tone it again yet. Um, same as the bleach. Hi guys, I'm back for um, I guess day two of this blonde journey. Um, I did the bleach on Friday, so today's Sunday, so two days ago. Um, and I bleached it and toned it on the first night. I probably should have done another bleach before I toned completely, but I didn't. And so I have this oranginess that's really just on this top layer here. Everything down below, um, I mean there's some here, a little bit of orange, but um, and that's the same on, on this side. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and bleach just those areas and tone it and see what I get. 